right, guys, welcome back to uh, Wooden Tool Man's channel. Welcome back to my shop. So, uh, it's day number two. Uh, this is like the next day after the first video. And uh, I'm actually starting to feel a little more comfortable now. Um, so, I just want to take some time. And for those of you who've been around for a long while, just kind of fill you in on what's been going on. Uh, obviously, I'm getting older. I got a lot fatter. <laughs> but I've been working on that too. Uh, because I was spending a lot of time sitting on my butt looking at my huge fish tank. Uh, for a few years, guys, more than a few years now, I guess it's been looking at my, uh, you know, thinking about things. It's probably been six or seven years now. I got pretty uh, hooked on uh, keeping saltwater fish. And uh, and I really went crazy, too. I went through a number of tanks. And, and my last tank that I had set up, you guys do this at your shop, is stretch out a tape. To 10 feet long so 120 inches and then 20 or uh, 38 inches wide that's from front to back and 28 inches tall you get that sized up so you can see how big of a tank that was and uh, that's how big a fish tank I made myself um, out of uh, clear acrylic plastic I figured out a way to weld it all together and uh, and made myself a real nice tank and what I'm gonna do is I made a video <laughs> The night that I was going to get rid of the, uh, or the night before I sold it, because I did sell it all. I, I left that hobby. It was consuming too much of my time, and that's why I didn't do any videos, guys. I was I was actually making a few videos here and there, but it was stu of stuff uh, for my fish tank. So I knew it wouldn't be really very interesting to you guys to see how I made a filter for this thing, or how I, you know, yeah, just different things for the fish tank. And uh, I did have another channel where I did have a few videos up there, but... I didn't take it to the what I want to do with with this channel here. This is uh, this is uh, something that I know will appeal to a lot of people. What uh, the projects that I've got coming up? You know, there's uh, this router table. This is just going to be a play project, guys. This thing works great the way it is. If you want, you know, you guys that don't mind buying a motor and a gearbox and finding a few hockey pucks. If you guys want to build this version, I'll I'll go through and I want to rebuild this anyway. I want to try to design. But the other one I was thinking about is for people who don't have access to this, I'm sure we could design some sort of crank system that, you know, you could have a little wheel here that you just spin and it's going to pull it through, you know. Um, I think it shouldn't be much of a problem to design that. But anyway, what I'm working on right now is uh, in the evenings, I've got a building that I'm trying to get ready to turn into a real 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 cheap shop guys uh i mean cheap it'll be this will be the most least expensive way to cover ground that i've been able to come up to uh, come up with now and what it involves is is taking one by four straps i buy 16 foot one by four straps you know uh three quarters of an inch thick i split them down the middle sorry and then i have it's my biggest jig i own too it's about 18 feet long or so and uh, it's a big arch is what it is. And what it involves is, is I can put five pieces of strapping into this, just clamp it down all the way up the, the, uh, the bend. And then I make this beautiful arch rib building that is super secure. So it, with a 16 foot strap, imagine this, I'm ending up with a 19 foot wide building and 13 feet to the peak. Well, I've already got mine built. Uh, but it's been up for probably seven or eight years and I didn't use womanized lumber So what I'm working on in the evenings and I'm going to show a video is kind of patch that into is uh, Show you guys what I'm doing there because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to add it on and my kids want some enclosures and uh, what a cheap way to do it um, I'll tell you guys what the plan is is uh, Is I'm going to build this arch rib building, you know, and I go every four feet I put a set of trusses with a nice sturdy base around the bottom and just screw it down and then what I plan on doing I've got it covered with a really heavy plastic now but what could be done and could make a super cheap structure for somebody is uh, is to cover it with clear plastic just you know regular clear plastic that you can buy really cheap at any hardware store and then I figured out the secret to keeping it cool enough in there in the summertime is we just paint the inside of it white and it'll reflect all the heat and it'll be a nice bright spot to go and uh, my plan is is just to put a couple of layers of chipboard down on uh, some gravel and uh, you know it's just gonna be a cheap structure so I'm not fancy guys uh, I don't have a whole lot of money so I try to do things on the cheap but that's one project I've got on the go and uh, and the other thing is like I said 
had been playing with this fish tank for six or seven years. Now I did make a video the night I before I tore it down, just kind of going through it and showing it. And then there was a few little clips that got taped of the thing coming out of the house. And and I'm just going to patch that all into the end of this video. You guys can kind of you know just to see what's going on. And uh, and yeah, and uh, and there, you know there's going to be other things coming up too. Uh, you know I'm just I'm always building stuff, guys, and. Uh, and I, I should be sharing it with uh, with you guys because some of this stuff, it comes out pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Like, uh, you know, this power feeder for the router, I wouldn't want to have a router table without a feeder on it. Now, it's so simple of a concept, but yet it just makes the job so much easier. And, uh, you know, this, this thing was my first prototype. I've had it for probably 15 years, and... Uh, and now I'm going to redo one, and uh, we're going to call her the router buddy because uh, it's going to be your buddy. Uh, so that's what I've been up to, guys. Um, it's glad to be back making videos. I hope to make a few bucks at it, too, as uh, most people that put up YouTube videos do. Uh, and I'm hoping that you guys will find uh, my uh, my content interesting enough, and uh, and hopefully you guys can, can do some of these projects. That's my hope is... Uh, you know, make it easy enough. That's when I design a machine. Guys, you guys know it. I design it in such a way that I try to make it so that everybody can build it. And uh, just with, with simple parts. So um, the strap building's coming up and uh, no more fish tank stuff for a long time. I may, in the future, I thought about building myself. Like I like to keep, I, I've, I've always liked to fish and I've always liked fish. And, uh, you know, I like I like to go fishing and uh, one thing I thought about doing in this building at home is uh, is to make an outside tank uh, for trout and uh, I've got a plan on how to make a really 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 big big tank even bigger than the one I had for way less money and it should only take just really a weekend to build it so I'm not going to have a lot of time invested in it and then with keeping speckled trout it's just one filter a simple light you know set up a little automatic feeder and and it's not going to take that time that it takes to do the saltwater reef tank so into the saltwater reef tank videos you guys have fun till next time uh, i get something interesting i'm just going to turn the camera on the same way and we're going to have some fun and uh, we'll see where this goes so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time so here's the last night with this beast to see it go but this thing is a lot of work as you can imagine guys and uh, enough's enough there's just crazy electrical here and just uh, yeah this is the end so this is the night before the breakdown so what I'm going to do is grab the camera and kind of walk through and let you guys have a look at this thing and, and uh, yeah it's not perfect but it doesn't look too bad it's real pretty to look at but it takes a lot of time so I'm going to grab the camera, do a little walk through. My young fellow was recording it. And then uh, give you some little close-ups of the coral. There's some really nice pieces. This is a big plate coral. I really like the softies. Like this, uh, this tank looks good. There's a lot of nice softies. There's a little bit of hard corals, but I've been struggling to, uh, to keep it. But lately the tank is kind of rebounded coral-wise, except for... Uh, I had a rogue copper band, I think, in this tank, and he was killing a lot of euphilia, and he killed this clam here when I wasn't looking, because I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the tank. I just haven't had the time to watch what's going on, and with all the fish, um, they, they fight a lot, and uh, they also will eat coral, uh, especially when you get a lot of them, and uh, there's a, there was a lot more fish in here, but I sold off and put a few or gave a lot of them away, to be quite honest. And... Uh, yeah, the zoo colonies are really doing good in the, the, the softies and such and mushrooms and stuff. And they're all real happy in this tank. But some of the euphilia, it was just like it would go missing, like, you know, a big colony like that's doing really good. And then all of a sudden it would just decline and then it would just keep moving on to the next one. So pretty sure it was a copper band since I've taken him out. Um, the euphilia has is, is, is ceased to, uh, to uh, disappear and the other stuff that's left is actually coming back this was nearly dead and it's actually coming back to life so hopefully that's the end of that issue with the, the tank for them guys that are getting it um yeah the zoos are really happy colonies are spreading there's some really big colonies of it here these 
uh, lemon dropping enemies. There's another one that's sitting down under the rock there. It's, I don't know what these are, but they're real pretty with the blue lights. So there's the tank the night of the the night before the breakdown. It is going to be tough to see it go, but my next project, I think I might grow uh, some big speckled trout and uh, something out of the house. This thing's too big to have in the house. You guys will just have no idea. Might do some recording of this thing going out and post some videos for everybody to watch as well. Trailer load. Yeah. This is just part of it.